choose a specific working direction choosing my working direction to scotch chuck folder okay now i'm importing a external geometry file in a para solid format in file type choose para solid file to read right click browser and in my working directory i have already imported my para solid format so i'm just double clicking it uh, opening it create a new model name model create okay press shift plus yes to change the type of view shift plus yes or you can go to view render mode wireframe or you can choose whatever you want shader hidden lines with remove or smooth shader So just select Z to zoom. To change the orientation, view, preset, front, back, whatever orientation you want, you can reset it. Top orientation. Or you can also give Shift plus F for front view. Shift yes to change the shaded view press F to fit the geometry model in the screen ok now apply constructions uh, connections to the geometry create a fixed joint the stand and to the ground take first body as a ground just click outside the environment ok now click second body as a stand part number 4 then we need some reference point to fix it I'm just clicking the bottom edge as my reference point press V to show that constructions are applied ok now I'm going to apply rotational joint rotational joint body 1 a circle body 2 as a part 4 part number 4 or right click choose part 4 uh, my reference point center point is my reference point the circle should rotate based on the reference line I will show you the circle rotate based on the reference point or it's also called as a axis point okay. now I'm going to apply material for each part right click modify define mask by geometry and material type right click select material guess steel or you can also create a new material type Modify Define mask by change into geometry and material type. Right click, guess, steel. Okay, you can also double tap it. Geometry, guess, steel. So I have applied the materials for each and every part. Now I am going to specify the contact To apply contact, go to force Create new contact In the I section, select the circle
in J section, select it as a part two, solid two, play. Nice section, contact pick, select as part two. In J section, right click, contact, solid, pick. Go to solid four. Okay, now we are apply the context. I'm going to apply motion, a revolved motion, select this speed, yeah, 30. Okay, just select this joint to go to simulation. Enter two seconds. Just run. measure result go to post processor right click and make it to window with that window okay, I'm doing it again right click split you can choose number of windows you want right click here load animation it will automatically load the previous animation which you created Okay, here I click plot object body and part two. Here the part two is the rod, the movable rod is called as a part two. You can also want rename right click rename it. The part one is wheel. Let's rename successfully. So go to the first processor. Five, replace the simulation. It means updating. Choose all. Okay. Here, see the name is changed. Okay. I'm going to measure displacement of this rod. Go to CM displacement. CM is just a coordinator here for the part two. There's a CM. This is my coordinator. Cartesian something else you can say. By referring this coordinator, I'm going to measure the displacement of this part. Okay. CM. CM. Click the plus icon. Just go to CM. Now select translation displacement in x axis. See x axis displacement take place in x axis. You want to measure the displacement in x axis. Add curves. It means it uh, move displacement from minus 55 degree to uh, approximately 24 in two seconds. The minus 55 is based on that Cartesian coordinate. We can also create a new Cartesian coordinate systems. Okay, let's play the animation now. But I'm going to calculate for how many degree the displacement takes place. For example, for 5 degree, how many millimeter it moves. Uh, I'm assuming for 5 degree it moves to 25 millimeter or uh, to 16 degree it moves 30 degree. Come over, I need to calculate it. Okay, just do it. Okay, 
click this joint you click x y z projection angle the reference angle is as z mark curve see my curve order i click the the dotted line reference the degree it rotates and the rectangular line reference the displacement